Welcome to the World Sip. Today, we're in Panama. We're here at Hacienda San Isidro with Ron Abuelo. They produce rum as rum should be, from growing their own sugar cane to bottling. Let's go check it out. We met up with European area manager Alexis Guerrero to get the lowdown on the rum. Ron Abuelo belonged to Varela family and the history of the company is a, a young Spanish immigrant uh, after traveling South America, uh, he decided to stay in Panama. And that young Spanish immigrant was this man, Jose Varela Blanco. In 1908, he established the country's first sugar mill here in the town of Pese. He lived in this two bedroom house and fathered 16 children. 16? Yeah. He was a busy guy. Ron Abuelo means grandfather. Ron Abuelo is easy to pronounce in every language. The name symbolizes age, trust, family and friendship. But why is Ron Abuelo special? Because we control the whole process. We have our sugarcane plantation, we have our distillery, we have our aging process. In every single bottle of Ron Abuelo we have a little bit of Panama there. Unlike most rum producers who buy in molasses or sugarcane, Ron Abuelo grow and press their own right here in Pese, and that's for good reason. It's a valley with a very uh, special weather condition. We have the dry season and the wet season. Every fruit is sweet, the sugarcane has a high concentration, so at the end we have the best fruit material to produce our products. The dry weather means there's less water in the cane and more of that sweet, sweet sugar to work with. Sweet. Super sweet. We are a company very, very friendly with the environment. We use everything from the sugar cane. That means we use the sugar cane juice, we use the bagasse, we use the leaf. At the end, we produce our own energy. Bagasse is the remains of the sugar cane that's dried out and then burned to heat the distillery. Now we're cooking on bagasse. Abuelo Brown, we have different categories. We have Abuelo Añejo, which is good for mix. We have seven, it's a good balance. You can make a good cocktail, but then as we celebrate the 100 year as a company, we launched the Ron Abuelo Centuria, which is one of the most beautiful products. But we'd heard rumors about the new Ron Abuelo Finish Collection. We are very proud with this collection, Ron Abuelo Finish Collection. So guys, uh, I enjoy well sip to have a try. As a special treat for the World Sip, our tour guide Aranis took us to the barrel aging warehouse to try the finished collection. This three product collection consists of 14 year aged Abuelo rum, finished for a final year in either a sherry, cognac or port barrel. First up was the Oloroso sherry cask finish and under rigorous rum tasting instructions we had to check the spirit strength by eyeing up the legs. It's harder than it sounds to get those legs going. <laughs> Great yeah. legs. Yeah. Lots yeah. of Great legs. legs. Great legs. Great set of legs. Then we nosed it. Ooh. Real difference. Ooh. Kind of sweetness and then like woody, yeah. oaky notes. Prepared our palates. Here's the water. Mm. And then. Tastes like water. <laughs> and finally, we got to taste it. My grandma used to give me sherry when I was a kid, so I'm used exactly. to the burn. <laughs> and he turned out all right. Yeah, so. I'm fine. No problem. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Ready? Oh. I mean, sorry. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Wow. Very oaky. <laughs> Yeah, getting like nice, those sort of woody flavors, a bit of coastal flavors coming through. I quite like the slight burn. Mm. It's it's not harsh at all. Then we repeated the process. Get told off if we don't drink water in between. With the Napoleon Cognac cask finish. Oh, cheers. Yeah. <laughs> we don't do that anymore, apparently. Yeah. It's too good, I, I just want to taste it. Stronger. It's got a bit of a kick to it. Yeah. But those flavors though, you got yeah, the caramel, vanilla -y, Yes. the sweetness. I would. It's got the longevity, it lasts a little longer as well. And finally, the tawny port cask finish. Ooh, I really like I that. Told you. I really like that. Uh, me too, it's my favorite. I got, got my schnoz right in there. Cheers. We ready, are we? <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> okay. Beautiful, nice and sweet. Mm. Yeah. And <laughs> I know you're talking about me. Yeah, <laughs> obviously. So, favorite port, sherry, or cognac? Port. 
didn't quite like the sherry. It's because this is stronger. <laughs> it's can't, can't handle it. <laughs> Having completed our arduous training, we are presented with the most prestigious of awards. Oh, amazing. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah. This is great. It's got our names on. This, yeah. is, this is the biggest achievement I've ever had in my life. 50 meter swimming badge when I was young, and now I have this, so this is. Official Perfect. Abuelo Rum Tasters. We are professionals, it says here on this piece of card. It's official. With certificates in hand and smelling like a couple of rum-soaked pirates, we thought we'd best put our new qualifications into practice. We took up the invitation from Enrique at Amano, Panama's top cocktail bar, to try his latest rum creation, the Ronald Trump. After an awesome day in Panama City, it's time for our favourite part of the episode, the tasting. So it's cheers to Abuelo. And cheers to Amano. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Straight away you get that Caribbean rum vibe, it hits you, but then it eases off the smooth, uh, creamy taste of the egg whites. And not only that, but Amano, as a bar as well, is everything the world sit wants to do. It's uh, actively importing craft spirits from around the world and bringing them to the people of Panama. And Good spirits make good drinks, clearly. Yeah. It's paying off. Definitely working. Cheers. Cheers. We'd love to spend the rest of the night here drinking rum, but unfortunately we've got an early start. As, like real pirates, we're off to our own desert island tomorrow, aren't we? We are. <laughs> so, how did that early night plan work out? Um, not so great. eventually make it home. Just in time for that early start. tropical paradise is called the San Blas Islands. It's a series of about 360 islands off the north coast of Panama. Around a quarter of them are populated by the indigenous people, the Kuna, and you've probably seen them in just about any TV show or film that has a desert island in, as they're basically paradise. It's perfect.
lot of rum and cast away our hangovers in the San Blas Islands. All in all, a pretty good time in Panama. But we've got to try and find a boat to take us back to the mainland now. So we'll see you next time on the World Sip.